Hey, you're watching Media Madness, and in today's first episode, we're going to explore the different areas of the creative industries. Whilst you're familiar with your TV screen and the internet, did you know that the creative industries are everywhere and impact every single day of your life? So what are the creative industries and what do they mean to you? Well, today we're going to explore them. Did you know that the creative industries of fashion, TV, music and gaming equate up to £8.8 .8 million pounds per hour? That equates to around £76.9 billion pounds per year. You may not even consider it, but the buildings you pass by every day go into a part of the creative industries. A lot of creative thought and design has gone into the structure of the buildings in order to be both aesthetically pleasing and structurally sound. These include making the blueprints, deciding what materials to use and designing the layout of the rooms inside the buildings itself. Some examples of architecture are the 4th Road Rail Bridge, the Gherkin in London and every library and art gallery throughout the country. Can you believe this architect? He wants us to put a handrail in. Of course he wants to put a handrail in. We need a handrail. We don't need a handrail. It's perfectly safe up oh, here. Oh, is that Miley Cyrus? Where? Really? Yeah, just on I don't right see it. Right there. Look! Ah! I did tell him we needed a handrail. The huge worldwide creative industries is fashion. With so many high street shops, high end boutiques and indie brands, Fashion is not only created for the people who make it, but also for the people who wear it too. It is worth around a whopping £66 billion, and if you stack that up in pound coins, you could get halfway to the moon. The TV shows on CBUC that you're watching right now are also creative media, as are the TV and film from anywhere else, of course. TV and film are what most people think of when it comes to the creative media. That is due to the influence of the Hollywood film. So many people are involved in the creation of film, on, with the average crew numbering around 500 people. This includes actors, makeup artists, cinematographers, sound recordists, directors, producers, and many, many more. Despite what they may have you believe, it's not easy being a doctor. I mean, you have all these cameras recording the people, recording the sound, all these lights on you at all times. Not to mention the fact that I'm here chasing monsters every other day. I mean, it's tiring. And in return, when all is said and done, they can just dispose of me. <laughs> I told them back in the 60s they couldn't get rid of me. Now I'm ready for the 90s! Breed on! Rock and roll! Queen! Billy Elliot! You can't get rid of me! I told them this. I die! A 90s kid! Sorry, that last guy hit his head. Right, after that, I think a bit of sensibility should take over. What was I saying? Oh yeah, all these wonderful people around, doing great jobs, lighting, camera, sound, brilliant. I just wish they'd stop trying to kill me. Songs are also creative media, often with so many people are involved in the creation of them. Writing, composing, recording and distributing, there are so many roles that are involved in the creating of your favourites. Music is also really important for other media works. Without talented musicians, your favourite shows and films would not have their iconic soundtracks. Books are also a big part of the creative industries and as Scotland is becoming more and more established in the media field, many books have come out in Scottish versions. For example, did you know that Roald Dahl's The Twits as a Scots version called the Egypts, and the beloved Garofalo's Child and Garofalo have also had their tales transformed into Scots.
In Scotland, the main video game company is Rockstar, who got their start in Dundee and have made one of the most famous games of all time. Games on your phones and tablets count as well, such as Angry Birds and Candy Crush. The actual process of coding and producing games is creative, but also can be used to encourage creativity in its users with some games such as Minecraft, including ways to build your own creations and customize your game world. Before TV, there was radio, and despite it being an older technology, it's still very much in use today. Even though radio itself has started to die out, podcasts have taken over, and now there is even a greater number of things that you can As technology has progressed further though, access to the creative industries is widening. Anyone can become a content creator with an affordable equipment and the internet. The rise of YouTube has shown that, with more individuality coming into the production of media in recent times. All of your favorite YouTubers has just started out as everyday people with a passion to create. Thank you for joining us today and be sure to tune in next week to learn the tricks of the trade. Stay switched on folks.